I have PTSD, OCD, and borderline personality disorder. Uh, I had the diagnosis of bipolar type 2. I am currently living with anxiety. I disclosed my challenges with mental health um, about three months into my relationship with my now boyfriend. Maybe I'm two months into dating. I told my girlfriend a few weeks into the relationship. I'm Mona Chalabi and this is Full Disclosure from Bumble. According to the National Institute of Health, more than 50% of the population believes they've been affected by a mental health issue at some point in their lives. What's it like to disclose your diagnosis with someone that you're dating or thinking about dating? A mental diagnosis is a condition that affects a person's thinking, feeling, mood or behaviour. These conditions can be occasional or they can be long-lasting. And they can also affect the way that someone relates to other people and how they move through the world. With more than 50% of the population saying they've been affected by a mental health issue at some point in their lives, why do we continue to stigmatise conversations around it, especially in the dating world? Obviously, as a data person, I place some trust in the statistics and I think that people are beginning to realise just how prevalent this is, that even if you're not experiencing yourself, someone that you care about is. I was feeling anxious bringing it up. I was feeling anxious bringing it up. We took um, a road trip to Wisconsin from Los Angeles and I felt really at ease and I don't think there was a topic that we didn't bring up on that car ride. Yeah, I've had bad reactions before. I've expressed before in the middle of a fight. You never want to do it when tempers are, you know, when emotions are heightened, when, when tempers are flaring. You want to do it when things are going well and when you're in the spirit of sharing already, you know. When and how to disclose a mental health diagnosis is highly personal and there is no right or wrong way to do it. If you're concerned or worried about disclosing your diagnosis, remember, there are lots of people with mental health disorders that have strong relationships. I'm nervous as hell. <laughs> I definitely wait until I have established a mutual respect. Usually I don't spark the conversation on my own. As soon as the person feels comfortable enough to maybe let me in on a part of their life that is hard to talk about, I take that as a positive and kind of try to let them know like, hey, we're all going through something and this is what I'm going through every day. I uh, was on a date, we were at a sushi place and um, and that was when I'm, we were having kind of a deep conversation. The, the reaction was really like a lot of questions and I was really lucky because there was not a ton of judgment, really just curiosity, not really knowing a whole lot about what it was. Mental health and relationships can often go hand in hand. When your mental health is going well, that can be great for your relationships. And when your relationships are healthy, that can be great for your mental health. I knew, I knew there was something, but uh, I didn't understand the root until she told me and where it comes from and how it affects her. It's definitely helped me to have a better understanding of and be more patient towards people who might be struggling with something that you don't necessarily see. If, if I want to be really functional to a high degree without medication, which never really worked for me, I have to be very self-regulated in other ways, be very consistent with, with diet and with exercise and with sleep. And it's always better to force myself or to have somebody else force me, because she does, uh, to go on like a half mile run or to get something done even if I'm down on myself and not having energy and I'm in that thing because it's amazing the power that somebody else has to break you out of something even if you feel like it's not possible. I think like everything it just comes down to exposure once you've realized that like you know you can date someone who has experienced mental health and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to blow up the relationship. I think it changes your attitudes to what it means to to be going through something. I feel like the trend is gonna be every single person is gonna be proud and open and they're probably actually gonna use these things um, to match with other people who are compatible. I think my diagnosis has helped me realize just how strong I am and making it more of like a social norm to talk about those feelings is really going to help people feel better. I think when someone shares a mental health diagnosis, they're also sharing that they have done some work on themselves, even if that's just asking questions about themselves, about why do I feel this way? 
And that, to me, is actually a really, really encouraging sign in a potential partner. Introspection is a good thing. I don't think that there's a wrong way to disclose. I feel like you can't go wrong. And you know what? I've never been mad at myself for telling the truth. 